up guys my name is Jacob and I'm gonna be going through the basics of Weebly so first off I've uh, I've logged into my ruthless GFX website it's uh, it's made all through Weebly um, it's got some HTML code okay so this is um, my ruthless GFX site I'm just gonna leave this this is already made I'm gonna go I've added a new site it's the free version so it's uh, weebly.com which is it's not too bad if you're starting up a business so uh, yeah so let's get right into this you just gotta add a site and then once you've um, added a site, just click edit. It'll ask you what type of site you're gonna make. I'm just gonna make a site, but with the free version, you can't really do much with a store. Like you can't use it to its full extent. And the blog is actually a pretty useful tool, but um, you're gonna have to upgrade your domain to get the .weebly.com out of there. Weebly has a bunch of uh, templates that you can choose from. My personal favorite is this one. Uh, I, I'm gonna go with blue for this. I'm gonna just gonna click choose. All right, so once it's loaded up, it will say uh, choose your web domain. Registering a new domain is gonna cost money, which if you're, you decided to upgrade finally, um, you can register a new domain, um, put some money into it. It's, it's a really good thing to invest in because uh, it's really brought me far. You can also buy a domain on a different site and register it with Weebly website maker. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a .weebly.com website. So I'm just gonna name this one uh, tutorial, tutorial um, Jake. Okay, tutorialjake.com or .weebly.com good enough so once you choose your domain you will be left with this blank slate Weebly is very easy to navigate Weebly has a sidebar on the left side um, it should be here by default I don't know if you can move it you you might be able to I don't, I'm not gonna bother with that pretty much it's drag and drop from there I mean you can uh, you can name this Jake or like tutorial um, you can change this to a logo so I can go into here and just uh, like I can upload our studio zero logo I mean it, it's it's really good this is obviously not gonna show up very well but okay so I'm just gonna leave my site as tutorial to add a headline it's pretty much just click to edit the text I mean it's it's really not that hard to do so the first thing we're gonna go over is how to link buttons. Usually with the template that it comes with, there's a button by default. I don't believe there's a way that you can get rid of this button. So to make it useful, we can click on it here and it'll bring up the little menu for it. Um, you can change the styles to small, large, I mean, different colors. Uh, I, I prefer the smaller style because it, I don't know, it just looks better to me. And then to link it to something, um, we can link it here if we go to the link menu. Um, we can actually link it to a website URL. So if I were to go to my website here and copy this URL, um, I can go here and paste it. And then I can choose to open it in a new window, which means when I click on the, or when a customer or a client or someone clicks on it, um, it will bring it up in a new window, like over here or something. So we'll test this out here. I'll put my website here and I'll open it in a new window and I'll click save. So then I can name this uh, Ruthless GFX and there we go. So now if I publish this, okay, so the website's published. So now if I close this and I go to um, tutorialjake.weebly.com, um, okay, so I open it up here. Uh, it looks pretty nice um, other than this um, blurb of text because I didn't really type anything useful here. But if you click on the button, you can see it opens my site. So that button worked. Um, so that's how you link a button. You just click on it, go to link, and you can link it to a website URL. You can link it to a page on your website. So we can we can link it to the contact page. Well, I do um, I do really enjoy using the buttons. Um, there's also social icons, which are pretty much the same as buttons. I'll drag them in to show you. You can click on them and. Uh, you can edit the icon. So you pretty much just paste your links in here. You just make sure they're the right things, okay? So like if I were to click on the Twitter link and I were to paste, uh, let's go to our Studio Zero page. I will copy this. I'll paste it in here. Um, that's my Twitter link. Well, Studio Zero's Twitter link. So I'll leave that and I'll publish this. Tutorialjake.weebly.com. We see we have our little Twitter icon. 
um, and it brings us to the Twitter page. So that's another basic on how to uh, add the social media icons. Now to edit the image you're given with, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Weebly's really great for editing websites. I really do enjoy it. All you gotta do is click edit image. Um, it gives you preset images here. There's uh, plenty to choose from. You can also upload your own image. So I'll go here and let's say I wanted to put this Call of Duty exosuit here, which looks pretty nice. And then you just click save. Uh, you can choose to save it just to the page that you're working on, or you can save it to uh, all pages. It's, it's really up to you. Um, I like to save it to all pages just because it gives it the consistency, I guess. Um, I, I wouldn't use this image typically because there's text on it because we've got our title text here. From there on, it's pretty much drag and drop. I mean, if you want a photo gallery, uh, you just drag it in and it just says upload images. All you got to do is click on it and uh, you upload images. Pretty much to upload more than one um, image, you uh, hold control and click uh, select the images that you want. Um, let's just select some of these random images here, our business card, logo variations, uh, Christmas. Let's open all these up. So yeah, there's our gallery. We've got our gallery of photos. Let's publish this. There we go, we've got our gallery. So now if you scroll through these, um, we've got all of our um, pictures that we selected. So if you've got a photo album in a folder, you pretty much, I'll show you a fast way to include all of the photos. So if I were to add images now, and this was your whole photo album you wanted to drag images into, you click the first image, you hold shift on your keyboard and you click the last image. So that means um, it selects all of them. So you make sure you hold shift, you select the first one and you select the last one and then you click open and that will add every single image that you just selected. So um, once these are loaded, um, I'm just gonna cancel this because um, I've already done it. I've showed you how to do it and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to add some HTML code, which is um, what I'm going to touch base on first is um, social media buttons um, per se, like for giveaways and uh, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to pages up here. Um, I can add a new page and name it uh, giveaways. Uh, oops giveaways okay and I'm gonna save and edit that page so I still have this um, picture up here which I don't really like so I'm gonna go back to pages and on under the giveaways page make sure it's selected I'm gonna change the type of page that it is um, I'm gonna make this no header which means there's no photo on it and I'm gonna click save so now there's no photo on it I can add an image myself which I'm gonna do um, and then I'm gonna add a title text so this giveaway is going to be called um, T-shirt. So I'm going to name this T-shirt and then under it, I'm going to have some text. Okay. This text is going to be like, uh, follow my Twitter. Okay. Now say I want a button here, but I don't want to use these social media icons that I showed earlier. I want to use some better looking buttons. Twitter has the system um, that it allows you to create buttons by yourself it's pretty easy it's it's kind of self-explanatory but you need some prior knowledge that's why I'm making this video okay so you're gonna open up a new tab you're gonna type in oops, Twitter buttons okay now um, when you have the Twitter when you type in Twitter buttons um, the first one that comes up will be the one that you need um, there's four buttons that you can choose from. You can choose uh, to have a follow button, hashtag button, mention button, or share a link. What I have on here is follow my Twitter. So that means I'm gonna use the follow button. So I'm gonna check that little box there. Okay, and uh, button options. So we want it to follow Studio Zero GFX. Now you can type in anything here. You can type in Jake, you can type in like, honestly, whatever your Twitter name is, put it in here because that's what it's going to be following when they press the button. So with that being said, I'm just going to go back and 
gonna let me go back? Oh, of course not. Okay, here we go. Twitter buttons, and we're gonna go to follow, and we're gonna go to Studio Zero. Now, you can have a larger button, or you can have a smaller button. Uh, I do prefer the smaller button, but I will show you both. So if you don't check this, you're gonna have the smaller button, which is right here. If you have the larger button, that's what it's gonna look like. I like the smaller button because it looks more clean and professional, um, therefore that's what I'm gonna choose. So, um, this is the code right here. Um, if you just click on this box, it will select it all, and you're gonna go Control C, or you're gonna right click and copy. Okay, now you're gonna go back to your Weebly, and you're gonna drag the embed code, okay? You're gonna drag that um, anywhere you want, really. You just want the button to be near. Now, if you want it beside this, um, just make sure you drag it beside the text right about here. Just make sure it highlights in blue. And then we're gonna click on the HTML. It says click to set HTML. You're gonna click it, and you're gonna do Control V or right click, paste. Okay, so that's gonna make your, follow your Studio Zero GFX, okay? Now we can hold shift to uh, disable the snapping or we can um, drag it in. See how I said it's wonky? So usually it's good to hold shift while you're doing this because you can get it pretty exact. Okay, so now we want, uh, we'll say mention the giveaway for the next one. We'll say uh, mention the giveaway, okay? So now we're gonna go back to our Twitter buttons and we're gonna go to uh, share a link, which says tweet pretty much. So we're gonna go to here and we're gonna do share URL. So I'm gonna say share giveaway. And uh, so now we need to go and find the tweet that we wanna share. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come to well, your own Twitter page, but um, with that being said, I'm on my Twitter page. So um, we're gonna go to the tweet we want. We're gonna click these three little buttons here. And we're gonna click copy link to tweet. So we're gonna click it and we're gonna go control C or right click and copy. Okay, we're gonna go back to our Twitter buttons and we're gonna go back to our page that we have. We gotta make sure share a link is on. And we're gonna click this little button here, okay? And we're gonna go control V or right click paste. Okay, so with this button checked, it's gonna use the title of the page that we're on right now, which is Twitter buttons about, which is not what we want, right? So we're gonna go to the second button and we're gonna put our own custom text in. So we'll say, um, check out this giveaway. Oops, giveaway. So check out this giveaway. Now when we click it, it's gonna say, check out this giveaway. And it's gonna have our link and it's gonna say via Studio Zero GFX, okay? Um, we don't want this via Studio Zero GFX. I don't really like it. It's only a personal thing. I. If you want it, you can keep it, but I'll show you how to get rid of it. So, it says VR right here. Um, you're gonna wanna take this out. So, if you wanna include a hashtag, we're gonna type in um, hashtag, hashtag, okay. It can, this can be hashtag anything. Um, I just typed in hashtag. We'll do ruthless GFX, and then we're gonna go to tweet, and it's gonna do hashtag ruthless GFX. So, it's, it's all up to you, it's all custom, it's self-explanatory. You can um, add anything on here. I don't like adding anything. The hashtag thing is pretty cool, but I don't really use hashtags, so it's it's really up to you. Um, so it will show how many people tweeted it beside it. Um, obviously zero people tweeted it because I haven't posted it yet. Um, now we can have a large button or a small button. I like the small one, as I said before. So we're just gonna click here we're gonna control C or right click copy. Okay, now we're gonna go back to website. Let's drag embed code in. Make sure it's behind or beside the text. You can see a little blue line there. That's when you know it's beside the text. If it's right here, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna go up this margin, which is not where we want it. We want it beside this text. So it's nice and clean, not clustered. So we're gonna click to set custom HTML. We're gonna click it. We're gonna do control V or right click paste. And we're gonna just click outside of the box. And there we go, we have our tweet button. 
So there's that, and pretty much just keep repeating this step until you have no more buttons or you have nothing else to do. So yeah, um, that's how you do Twitter buttons. Um, there's many other things you can do with Weebly. It's just, it's gonna take me hours to go through all of them. So that's it for this video, guys. Please leave a like. Um, if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. Just leave a comment. Um, I'll leave my email in the description and I will get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Um, this is Jacob Walter and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.